It's Meta AI versus ChatGPT. I used both of these chatbots as my personal assistants for the day to see what they can and can't do and how they stack up. You can access both of these chatbots from a desktop browser or apps. I'm using them both on my phone today. ChatGPT has its own app, and Meta AI is integrated into Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. You can use Meta AI for free, but there are both free and paid versions of ChatGPT. I'm using ChatGPT free today. Voice chatting is new on Meta AI and relatively new on ChatGPT, so I was excited to try it. Meta AI offers 10 voices for you to choose from, and ChatGPT offers nine. Out of Meta's 10, it gives you some celebrity voices that sound pretty accurate. I can help you with things like creating images, answering your questions, or giving you advice. There are no celeb voices on ChatGPT. Hey, what's up? Feel free to ask me about anything that's on your mind. You have to be logged into the ChatGPT app to access voice chatting. You can also text with these chatbots. I'm going to both text and speak with them today. Let's see how much Meta AI and ChatGPT can help me with my everyday tasks. I want to plan some activities for the next month, and because I'm a Bay Area local, I am very curious whether or not these chatbots can distinguish between touristy activities and non-touristy stuff which is what I'm interested in. Let's see. Can you give me an itinerary for the perfect non-touristy day in San Francisco? Yes, of course. For a non-touristy day in San Francisco, explore the city's neighborhoods, parks, and local attractions. Visit the Day Young Museum, Dolores Park, Golden Gate Park. Okay, this is a good start. Can you recommend some good vegetarian restaurants in those neighborhoods? Happy to. Some highly recommended vegetarian restaurants in San Francisco include Green's Restaurant, Enjoy Vegetarian, Thai Idea This is an okay start. I would say I like the restaurants more than the first recommendations. I feel like they were a little bit general and a little bit touristy. Let's see what ChatGPT gives me. Can you give me an itinerary for the perfect non-touristy day in San Francisco? Absolutely. For a more local vibe in San Francisco, start your morning with coffee and breakfast at Trouble Coffee in the Outer Sunset. They're famous for their cinnamon toast, which goes perfectly with a cozy cup of coffee. From there, take a walk over to the nearby... That sounds great. Okay, I prefer ChatGPT's answer by a landslide. It gave me so much more detail and it gave me an itinerary for the entire day, which I really appreciate because that is what I asked for. I would also say most of the recommendations are actually things that are non-touristy, which again, what I asked for, I really appreciate that. Overall, very impressed by that answer and I'm gonna be adding some of these things to my list for sure. <laughs> I have to get groceries this weekend, but I am so bored of my current grocery rotation. And at the same time, I get overwhelmed trying to figure out new recipes. So hopefully these chatbots can help me. Starting with Meta AI, I'm asking, can you create a high protein vegetarian grocery list for me for under $100 in San Francisco? That is a tall order. <laughs> All right, we've got some good protein sources, lots of produce in there, dairy, grains, and the totals. This list should provide a good foundation for high protein vegetarian meals, but prices may vary depending on the specific store and location. I agree, this is a pretty balanced list. I don't know that I could get all of this for under $100 at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, but grocery outlet maybe. Let's try ChatGPT next. This looks very similar to the last list. It says the estimated total is $54, which not sure about that again in San Francisco, the accuracy of that pricing. I would say for this round, the answers are pretty comparable. You could kind of go with either. I did like the tip breakdown at the end of Meta AI's answer, although it was kind of inaccurate at times, so take that with a grain of salt. These responses were pretty solid, but it is worth noting that sometimes these chatbots can lead you totally astray through producing responses with hallucinations. That is, stuff they made up that's not actually true. Meta AI and ChatGPT are multimodal, so I can upload and ask them questions about photos. I can also use Meta AI to add, remove, or alter parts of my photos. I'm asking Meta AI, can you remove the painting from above the bed in this photo? And voila, not perfect, but it's something. It's better than nothing. 
Next, I'm asking Meta AI, can you give me wings in this photo? And there we go, before and after I have wings. <laughs> Those photos weren't perfect, but it is still cool what you can do with Meta AI at the moment. While ChatGPT works for simple adjustments, it can't add or remove things from my photos. It just creates entirely new images. While Meta AI is completely free, there's a paid version of ChatGPT called ChatGPT Plus that costs $20 a month. It gives you greater access to ChatGPT's most advanced GBT 4.0 model. With ChatGPT Free, if you've asked too many questions, you'll get downgraded to a less advanced GPT. ChatGPT Plus also allows you to make more images with the Dolly 3 AI image generator. Meta AI, on the other hand, gives you unlimited access to its Imagine AI image generator. We have found that Imagine doesn't produce as strong of results as Dolly 3 does. We were so impressed by Dolly 3 that it received a 2024 CNET Editor's Choice Award. But hey, it's nice that Imagine's free. Imagine's images are also automatically watermarked to disclose that they're AI generated, while Dolly 3's are not. Let's try making an image with Meta's Imagine AI. Can you imagine an image of a puppy wearing headphones? Okay, take a look. I like this one. Very cute. Not what I expected, but I like the colorful headphones. Okay. Next, let's try Dolly 3 on ChatGPT. Can you give me an image of a puppy wearing headphones? Here's an adorable puppy wearing headphones. Let me know if you'd like any adjustments. This is probably what I imagined more when I thought of headphones. The traditional black headphones, they don't fit this puppy. I think in this case, both of the photos are pretty comparable. Meta AI has also recently been integrated into the Ray-Ban Meta glasses in the US and Canada to allow you to say, scan a QR code or hear a live translation. You can also create your own AI chatbot using Meta's AI Studio in the US and talk to chatbots created by other users. Overall, I prefer ChatGPT because I find that it gives me more thorough answers and I like that it has its own standalone app. But I don't love that ChatGPT charges you for more access to some of its best features. Now, this does only scratch the surface of what these chatbots can do. So check out CNET.com for more. And I am very interested to hear your thoughts. Have you tried these chatbots? And if so, which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.